We came across this idea of Eucharistic sharing because my wife was at Washington, D.C. in the National Cathedral, and she was sitting in a service when they announced that Gina Candle, Campbell, a uh, pastor from Texas Conference, was going to be presiding at, over communion in January. And she said, whoa, wait a minute. Methodists aren't supposed to be at the Episcopal table. What's going on? And so she asked, and we found out about the Eucharistic sharing, and we went to our bishops and we said, hey, why don't we share the Eucharist? Yes. And our bishops thought that was a grand idea. In fact, uh, both of them said something like, it's about time. <laughs> so. so last May, Bruce and his congregation came the block and a half to Church of the Atonement, and I preached a sermon of welcome, and Bruce presided at our table for Eucharist. And as we're filming this, we're looking forward to November 1st, as you're watching it, it happened last week, that Church of the Atonement walked the block and a half over to the Methodist Church, where uh, Bruce preached a sermon and I celebrated at his table. And as, and as pastors, a real gift, I think, that's been given to us in the sharing is that it is deep in our spiritual understanding of Absolutely. community. Absolutely. And, and bringing the Eucharist um, to the people of God. And so that it's been a real gift to, to have the sharing together. Absolutely. Cool. Thanks, partner. Thanks.